Hello everyone, it's New York Railfan202 here, and today we're going to be continuing Engines of Metro North by discussing the General Electric U34CH, used on Metro North's West of Hudson lines and New Jersey Transit. Now let's get started. In 1970, the Erie Lackawanna Railroad was doing its federally mandated duty running commuter services out of Hoboken Terminal to northern New Jersey and southern New York. Given the fact that the Erie Lackawanna and most other railroads were almost always on the brink of bankruptcy at the time, the service was unreliable, infrequent, and the equipment was outdated. The New Jersey state government recognized the problem and began subsidizing the Erie Lackawanna and other commuter operations in the state. The subsidy included the purchase of state-of-the-art locomotives and coaches to replace the railroad's older fleet of EMG E and F units. The government of New Jersey noted the efficient and modern commuter operations of the Chicago and Northwestern Railroad out of Chicago. The railroad had gotten rid of steam heating on their commuter trains, replacing the steam generators on EMD E and F units with diesel generators. These generators could then supply electrical power for the heat and lighting directly to a new fleet of Pullman Standard Galley bi-level rail cars. Some of these new Pullman Standard bi-level cars had been ordered as cab control cars by the Chicago and Northwestern Railroad, which means that the train could operate in both directions without the need to turn trains or use extra locomotives. With the cab control cars, the engineer would switch from the cab of the locomotive to the control cab of a cab car to effectively turn the train around. In New Jersey, the head and power system would provide efficient heating during the cold northeast winters, and push-pull operation would significantly increase the efficiency of the commuter services. At the time, when a train reached the end of the line, there was no way to turn the train around with all turntables, Ys, and loop tracks being removed as lines were cut back from their original termini to save costs. Crews would have to uncouple the locomotive from the consist and run it around the train and couple it to the other end. This necessitated the need for dual cab locomotives such as the E60 and ALP44, or to have two diesel locomotives coupled rear to rear and run that whole set around the train. The New Jersey Department of Transportation, therefore, went with Pullman Standard to build a push-pull coach set for their subsidized services, although this new order would be single and not double-decker due to low clearance on Northeast Railroad's trackage. Pullman introduced the diesel liner coach and cab car for the New Jersey Department of Transportation to improve efficiencies on their subsidized commuter routes. These would be operated by the Erie Lackawanna, but would be owned and purchased by the state due to the subsidy. Now all that was needed was a locomotive to go with this new order. After initially looking to electric motive division, the New Jersey Department of Transportation was approached by General Electric with a variant of their universal series of locomotives that would be specifically designed for passenger service. It would be based on the successful U33C freight locomotive, just with more horsepower and head and power to work with the new diesel liner coaches. This new locomotive would therefore be called the U34CH, with U meaning universal series, 34 meaning 3,430 horsepower, C meaning C-C wheel arrangement, and H meaning equipped with head and power. The FDL-16 diesel engine was the first of the FDL engines to use crown pistons, which allowed the engine to produce 3,600 horsepower. Still, the head and power system took 160 horsepower when activated, and would use more depending upon the load. This was unique at the time as this was the first diesel locomotive to use shaft-driven head and power, meaning that the head and power is provided by the main engine, not an auxiliary generator. This also causes the engine to run at a constant 900 RPM when head and power is in use, just like on later EMD F40PH and GE Genesis models. The locomotive was capable of 103 miles per hour, but was restricted to 79 miles per hour in service. The first U34CHs were delivered in 1971, with the last of the order being completed in 1973. 32 U34CHs were ordered along with 155 Pullman Standard diesel liner coaches, later named Comet 1s. Both were ordered together to be used on the Erie Lackawanna commuter services in New Jersey, with the locomotives being numbered 3351 to 3382. As the order was paid for entirely by the state, the units were painted in a blue and silver paint scheme with Erie Lackawanna logos and New Jersey Department of Transportation markings. This gave the U34CHs the nickname of Bluebird. As the state owned the U34CHs, they were forbidden to leave the commuter service area. 
with the Erie Lackawanna facing a power shortage for their freight train. The NJ Dot U34CHs were used in freight services to places as far as Youngstown, Ohio on weekends, returning to commuter service on Monday morning. On the Port Jarvis and Pusick Valley lines, locomotives only operated as far as the New York border, as that was as far as the New Jersey Department of Transportation wanted them to. Service between Suffern and Port Jarvis on the Port Jarvis line was provided exclusively by aging locomotives and coaches. New York commuters wanted modern coaches and locomotives just like the commuters had already had in New Jersey. This led the MCA to enter an agreement with the New Jersey Department of Transportation and Erie Lackawanna to subsidize commuter service in New York. This allowed the U34 CHs to operate to Port Jarvis in Spring Valley, New York, but this did not guarantee that every train would use the latest equipment. When the Erie Lackawanna filed for bankruptcy in 1972, the railroad reorganized and avoided being merged into Conrail, which was taking over every other bankrupt Northeast Railroad, the Erie Lackawanna opting instead to merge with the Chessie system. After the merger fell through due to the Erie Lackawanna's growing debt, the railroad was left on their own. But it was recognized that they would be unable to compete with the government-funded Conrail, so the railroad joined Conrail at the last minute. The merger took place on April 1, 1976. The U34CHs were renumbered to match Penn Central's numbering system, being numbered 4151 to 4182. One Conrail U34CH 4151 was renumbered to 1776, was repainted by Conrail on a bicentennial paint scheme to commemorate the 200th birthday of the USA. The locomotive was repainted back into the Bluebird paint scheme in 1979. While under Conrail operation, the U-34CHs continued to operate the former Erie Lackawanna Railroad lines of Hoboken Terminal. The aging units operated a few trains on the Pusick Valley and Port Jarvis lines and were starting to prove problematic for the railroad. The MTA was called upon to increase its involvement in West of Hudson commuter service. The MTA needed to provide additional equipment for use on the New York lines. As these locomotives would be maintained at Conrail facilities in New Jersey, the MTA needed to choose a locomotive already rostered by Conrail or the New Jersey Department of Transportation for ease of maintenance. The agency reached out to General Electric for a head and power equipped version of the Dash 7 series. As it turns out, it was impossible to equip a Dash 7 series locomotive with head and power as there was not enough room for the alternator. GE then proposed building a U34CH for the railroad out of a damaged Chicago and Northwestern U30C freight unit number 934. The agency accepted the offer and in 1978, MTA U34CH 4183 was produced by General Electric in a Bluebird paint scheme. However, rather than an Erie Lackawanna logo, the unit had an M similar to what was on the MTA's East of Hudson commuter service, also operated by Conrail. As for coaches to be used by this locomotive, an interesting opportunity presented itself to the MTA. In addition to the U34CH General Electric rebuilt 8 surplus Aero 3 EMU shells, Originally intended for NJ Dot as normal coaches, these new coaches would be similar to the Comet 1s built by Pullman Standard and would be designated as Comet 1As. The rebuilds would be completed at General Electric's Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania shops and would have automatic doors, HVAC, and bathrooms just like the ordinary Comet 1s, just with aesthetics similar to an Aero 3 EMU. The eight shells were transformed into two cab cars and six trailers and were delivered at the same time as the U-34CH in 1978. This addition led to the retirement of all E-8s and steam-heated equipment from the Hoboken Division and revitalized the service as the oldest piece of equipment in operation was less than 10 years old. But Conrail was struggling and the federal government was angry at northeastern states for piggybacking off of it to run their subsidized commuter services. It was then required that state agencies take over commuter service from Conrail. In 1983, NJDOT created New Jersey Transit to take over the Conrail commuter routes within the state of New Jersey, with the switch happening on the first of that year. All New Jersey Department of Transportation pieces of equipment were then transferred to the new railroad. The same thing was happening on the New York commuter lines, with the MTA creating Metro North Railroad to handle commuter services in New York on both sides of the Hudson River. All MTA pieces of equipment were transferred to Metro North and the switch happened on January 1st, 1983. Although the equipment was owned by Metro North, services were contracted out to New Jersey Transit as the only way to reach the west of Hudson Lines was from New Jersey Transit tracks. The U34CH is carried on in service on New Jersey Transit at Metro North into the 1990s, with some of the New Jersey Transit units having been repainted into the railroad's disco stripe paint scheme. Some of the fleet 
have the Erie logos patched with New Jersey Transit logos instead, but New Jersey Transit and Metro North were looking for replacements, and Conrail presented a rebuilt GP40 locomotive designed specifically for passenger service. New Jersey Transit sent their own fleet of 13 GP40 PHs that it had acquired at its inception for rebuilding first from 1991 to 1992, which would be rebuilt into GP40 PH 2s. The railroad then placed an order for 15 GP40 PH 2s, which would be rebuilt from former Conrail and Penn Central units to replace the U34 CHs. Metro North also placed an order for a single GP40 PH 2 to replace its sole U34 CH. In the early 1990s, with the railroad expecting new and reliable locomotives, they stopped maintaining their fleet of U34 CHs. If one had a mechanical failure, it would be retired rather than repaired. This neglect of the fleet continued until the last of the GP40 PH-2 locomotives were delivered in 1994, and the U34 CHs on New Jersey Transit and Metro North were retired that same year. Two New Jersey Transit U34 CHs were used in work service until the railroad received their four GP40-2 is from Conrail. In 1993, New Jersey Transit leased three of their surplus locomotives to SEPTA for use on their lines that were having wire maintenance done since, at the time, SEPTA was in the process of modernizing their catenary system. One of the U34 CHs was even painted into the blue SEPTA diesel paint, but the locomotives were returned once the work was completed. In 1994, the United Railway Historical Society of New Jersey recognized the significance of the departure of the U-34CH and organized a farewell to the U-34CH excursion on August 27, 1994, pulled by U-34CH 4172 and 4176. This trip covered all the Hoboken Diesel Division with travel on all of the Bonsoon, Morris and Essex, Bergen County, Port Jarvis, and Pasig Valley Lines, with seven photo stops at Mountain Lakes, Nekong, Ridgewood, Suffern, Erie, Ordell, and Harmon Cove. A fitting end to the U-34CH's 22-year-long career, New Jersey Transit scrapped 11 U-34CH's and then sold 19 to Conrail, which were exported to Mexico. One U-34CH was sold to America Latina Logistica of Brazil for parts use, and U-34CH 4172, the one that pulled the farewell excursion, is currently preserved and awaiting restoration at the United Railway Historical Society of New Jersey. All U-34 CHs were off railroad property by 1996. Metro North looked to transfer their single U-34 CH to their east of Hudson lines for work service. Due to clearance issues, costly height modifications would need to take place to the roof and fuel tank of the locomotive as the old tank would not clear the third rail. It was decided to just scrap the locomotive. The U-34 CH was General Electric's first attempt at a commuter locomotive, and it's safe to say that it was a success. Later General Electric passenger locomotives did not see the same glory as the P30CH and E60CH proved to be problematic, but the U34CH set the standard for commuter railroads around the country. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something about the U34CH used by both Metro North and New Jersey Transit. If you liked this video, like it, and if you didn't, dislike it, that's fine too. Leave a comment for anything else, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye.